Alright, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Acer Helios 300. Now, I get this question a lot. What is the cheapest, best laptop I can get to be able to run Unreal Engine? And I'm not affiliated with these guys, with this company, but you know me, I always look for the cheapest thing, and this is the laptop that I found. Now, this laptop runs for $1,200, but I did have to spend some money on upgrading the hard drive and buying more RAM because it only came with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So what I'm gonna do in this video is benchmark it in Unreal Engine 5 using the Ancient of Valley UE5 project. And then what I'm gonna do is also show you uh, how it works in DaVinci Resolve, the free version whenever uh, working with 4K footage. So as far as Unreal Engine goes, I was able to open some projects, but whenever you turn on ray tracing and depending on the scene and how complex it is, I did get a lot of crap. Crashes. This means that if you're trying to make this laptop your one and only device or hardware to work in Unreal Engine and you're trying to uh, have a high quality renders like you see in the channel here, you're not going to be able to do that. Fortunately for me, this laptop is more just like a travel laptop and then I'm going to show you some behind the scenes on what I used this laptop for before making this video so I can share that info. I mean, hindsight 2020, I think I should have spent more money on a laptop, maybe at least a 3070 or a 3080 laptop, but I already got this laptop, so I'm stuck with it. So I'm just going to have to deal with it and keep it. It was going on, y'all. So we're going to start off with Unreal Engine 5, the Valley uh, project. So you kind of benchmark this laptop. So as you can see right now, I am in the editor. And yes, one of the bad things about running this on a laptop is you don't really have much real estate as far as screen space, but that's okay. Uh, so you can see right here, we're running at 60 frames per second, but I do have this thing maxed out using the Predator Sense. I have it at Turbo, so you can probably hear the fan. But yeah, that's what we have. And I'm gonna go ahead and play this in full screen mode. So you can kind of see the frames per second because this is really one of the tests I wanna do first because eventually Unreal Engine 5 is going to be the engine as far as I know. So I wanna see you know, how this performs in here. So let's go ahead and move around. I'm getting around 35 frames, almost 40 frames per second here. And like I said, this is pretty impressive for a $1,200 laptop. I mean, I know I did kind of upgrade it a little bit. Let's see how long this is going to take right here in the screen because I actually didn't preload this or anything. So let's see how long this takes. Okay, so that took about a minute long. And it looks like it's preparing textures here. I did turn off motion blur, so we are here now in a dark world, and wow, okay. <laughs> what is that? Okay, I gotta find out what that is, because that looks freaky. Um, it looks like it's having issues with something on top of that rock there. So shoot and hold. About 15 frames per second there, it dipped. So even though Unreal Engine 5 is supposed to be more CPU heavy as far as, you know, like the nanite technology and the lighting, the global illumination, you're still going to need a decent hardware to run it. Even though if you're just creating a game, obviously, I think it's this system right here is doable. But yeah, we're getting about 3840 and we're about to start the scene here and let's see what kind of FPS I'm getting now. Yeah, five. It says your video memory has has been exhausted. One thousand three hundred over budget. So now it is really hurting. And the thing is, I'm actually capturing this on an HDMI cam link, so this shouldn't take a hit from the capturing itself. So yeah, this is this is pretty good testing right here. And now I'm at. Okay, so I, I regain FPS back after that. And we got some particle effects going on. So if I can shoot them right here, you are going to see that message there constantly on the top left now. Let's see if I can shoot his head here. There you go. So the chest first? Yeah, it is the chest first and then the head. Sorry, I totally forgot about this. There you go. Cutscene. 
about 40 frames per second here. So that's kind of like giving you, as far as performance on this laptop in Unreal Engine 5, uh, the demo. Uh, but what I'll do is I'm going to turn on DLSS real quick. Man, that is something is happening over there. And see if we can get a better FPS here. It's already downloaded. It should be the 5.0 version. And it's loading here for a sec. I do have a cooling laptop pad underneath it. So that's kind of cooling it off. I don't know why I'm underneath there. So let's go ahead and go to our level blueprints here. And I'm going to set it to like, say, I would say balance. And then we're going to press play again. And then we'll go back. Man, this thing is hot. Just on the top here. It is on turbo mode right now. Okay, so we're back. I'm going to move around here. And let's see if it's any better. Yeah, I think we gain like maybe 8 FPS by turning on uh, balance. So it's at 47, 48 now. And again, balance, I don't even see it taking a hit as far as quality goes. It still looks pretty darn good. And you see there we're dipping into 50s. So let's try um, a little bit more performance-wise. So let's go with Ultra Performance. So we're at like 48-ish right here. We might be able to hit 50 with Ultra Performance, but we'll see. F11. And let's move around. Yeah, we're like... 49.50 there, I broke 50 a little bit. But you can tell on the on the uh, little grass things right here that it is a little bit blurrier, but that looks that looks pretty good. 52, there you go. 52 FPS at a uh, ultra performance DLSS. This DLSS is so freaking worth it. Like having a card that's capable of doing DLSS is insane. Especially if you're a gamer. Yeah, it looks like 52, 53. Let's check out the dark world real quick and see how many FPS we get there. I forgot you can't run in this one. Alright, so here we are in dark world. Yeah, we're actually hitting about 50, 60 in here. But yeah, you can see that there's something funny going on on her texture. But I'm not sure if that's just DLSS. Kind of like problem where it's the laptop just dying. Looks like there's a little bit of green, pink. You know, it kind of look like a cyberpunk type of deal now. But it is a lot smoother. I'm getting about 58, 60 now. Interesting. This is cool. So yeah, that's that's this right here, Ultra Performance, and I'm going to go ahead and press Escape. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is actually test video editing in this laptop. Now I have some 4K footage right here from my Sony camera. Uh, that It's kind of just behind the scenes stuff. So I'm going to just kind of put a couple of them in here and see if we can... So we're going to try and see if we can edit this in this laptop. So I'm just going to go ahead, Alt. I mean, these are just like H.264 files so then they're not really like raw or anything like that so i really shouldn't have any problems as far as like editing these as you can see there's h264s right here they're 4k and see if we can kind of play this back yeah playing about 30 frames per second there now i did shoot 30 frames per second because i had to match this with some footage and you can actually see a laptop right here that I'm using. So we'll talk about that a little bit now. So with this setup right here, and I'll go ahead and talk about this. I did use this laptop for this virtual production stuff, behind the scenes stuff. So I have a camera right here, the S5, and I have the, I'm going to make this bigger. I have uh, an HDMI kind of piping through the laptop right here. And I was doing live green screen keying using the laptop. Now I was not able to load up super high quality 
maps and environments when I was doing this. So there is limitations, but at least I know that this works with the laptop that I can do like live green screen keying. Uh, but yeah, this is something I'm working on. Hopefully I'll have time to kind of edit the, edit it, but this is actually my next course, virtual production, uh, indie virtual production uh, with Unreal Engine. And then additionally, I did another shoot. Let's see here if I can find another. All right, so another example where, where I use this laptop is I used it as a motion capture uh, laptop. So I have the face good helmet and the Xsense and Windows Starter, both of them plugged into the laptop and it actually worked really well. I had no issues with recording both the facial animation video and the Xsense and Windows body motion capture. So it was really, really good. And as you can see, I'm right here. See my shoes? I'm actually looking at the data that's getting piped in to the, um, the laptop. So happy to report that if you're trying to do motion capture with this laptop, it's not gonna have a problem whatsoever. I didn't have any issues. I had some pretty decent takes, like up to a minute and stuff. And I did do some dance once with this laptop. It's not gonna have any problems. However, with that being said, the laptop only has three standard USB size and then one USB-C. So I had the Manus gloves. Oh yeah, let's not forget about that. She's wearing a Manus gloves. So that's also using a USB. The face good helmet is using a USB and the a Windows starter is also using a USB. So I had three USB slots and I had three devices plugged in. So I wasn't able to use my mouse, but you do have a USB-C uh, hole as well or, or input. So if I had a USB-C adapter, then I would have four USBs. So that's that. I was able to use it in a virtual production setting and a motion capture setting. So that is pretty darn good. But yeah, if you all have any questions, let me know. And I am still going to be giving away a motion capture suit. Whenever I reach 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to have a little short film competition that's going to be animated. So everywhere in the world can participate in the short film. But for you to get the price, you're going to have to live in the USA. Because honestly, I don't want this motion capture suit getting stolen at customs. Because that would suck. All right. If you all have any questions, like always, let me know. And I'll see you all later.